Hello guys, welcome to your, your sixth video, I believe. And um, in this video, we're going to be talking about the redirect method. And um, what it is, is it's going to allow us to click on the link or go through the URL, select a controller and an action. And instead of going to that controller and action, we're going to get redirected to another controller and another action. So let's take a look how it works. So I'm in my I'm in my blog terminal here, and I already started up the WAMP server, and I also started the the server here. So you know, just type in just cd blog and then Rails server. So what we've been doing every single tutorial in the beginning, just do the same thing. Uh, so we left off in this controller here, which was our example controller. So let's just open that up here. I already have it open, but I'm just gonna open the the folders, and we're going to redirect first the you know to the most basic one which is going to be a uh, absolute absolute path so we could we don't have to redirect to our own application itself we could redirect to other websites so let's just redirect to i don't know uh youtube so the way you do it is you just type in the you know the method redirect underscore two and the name of the of the website and in our case we're just going to do http colon forward slash youtube.com so you do have to put the HTTP in forward slash because otherwise it's not gonna work so let's save this and we're going to go to localhost 3000 the name of the controller and then the name of the action so <clears throat> localhost example slash index so once I hit enter, I'm expected to get redirected to YouTube.com. So let's hit enter. Okay, so we're getting YouTube.com. That's good. That's what we, we were expecting. Now let's take a look at another type of redirect, and that is redirecting to another controller. <clears throat> if I'm in this controller here, it's example, and I want to, you know, go to this action here through the URL, basically go here, um, example slash index but for some reason I want people to actually you know get redirected to this particular action then you know I could do that here as well but I have to change this parameter here. the way I do it is I just type in the the action and I'm going to be it's going to be the, the name of the action obviously in our case it's going to be demo and in here we're just gonna render a view here. So render and demo. Uh, I don't believe I mentioned this, but as you can see, these ones here are in um, they're in folders. If I don't specify the folder here, it's gonna assume it's going to be in the example folder in this case here. So it's the same thing as if I were to do this, right? But if I wanted to render another folder, then I could do you know like welcome slash index and that way I would render another one here but in our case we usually you know render um, its own view so I just have to type in um, example so it's gonna be demo so I don't have to type in the the name of the of the folder here so let's see here let's see what we're gonna get here okay this is the demo view okay so let's go to our URL once we hit enter, we're expected to get redirected to our action demo, which is going to be this guy here. And this one is going to render the, the demo view. So let's hit enter. Okay, as expected, we're going to, we got redirected to the demo view. Now, one thing you got to notice is the URL. Um, the URL is going to tell us everything here. This is how you know you get redirected. You know, you get, the URL changes that's a difference between you the redirect and something like um, you know render where your the URL won't change so always always check the URLs to see you know what's going on okay so let's go to our last example of redirect and that is redirecting from another controller so let's just generate another controller and let's go to our block terminal and let's type in rails generate we're gonna generate a something controller and then index for our action okay 
so we're getting we're generating a controller here and another folder for the view so let's just could not find generator oh, okay so I did forget to type in controller so rails generate controller something index this thing is actually kind of slow sometimes okay so let's wait for the controller to get generated and here we go let's open it up and in this case now what I want to do actually is um, from the here I want to redirect to this controller so instead of typing render here let's just do redirect to and now in order to re to redirect to another controller we have to type the controller itself the name of the controller so we do controller and in our case it's going to be the controller something followed by the second parameter which is going to be the action and our action is going to be actually I'm going to type another action here so um, def, I'm going to do another demo and render another demo okay and this is supposed to be in quotations demo so let's go to our something folder here and let's do another file here demo.html.erb and let's just do something simple like um, we got redirected from example controller to something controller and render the demo view okay so again to recap what what's going to happen is i'm going to go to the url basically here example demo so i'm in this example controller in the demo action once i hit enter or i refresh i'm going to get redirected to the other controller in our case it's going to be the controller something which is this guy right here and why is this in red i have no idea okay anyways um I forgot what I was talking about already. Okay, never mind. So we're gonna get redirected to the something um, controller. That's this one, and then we're gonna pick the action, which is gonna be demo. So let's save this, and this here, the demo is going to render the demo, con the demo view, which is something and then demo. Okay, so we're in the something controller. So it's gonna render this guy, and we're we're expecting to see this output. I know we're going in loops here, but you know, this is just to so you could see how you can redirect from one place to another. So let's let's refresh this. Hopefully, we get this here. Okay, so we're in business here. So notice that the URL changed to the controller and the action. That's the whole point. It gets um, it gets redirected basically. So that's pretty much the basics of this kind of stuff in here. And yeah, that's that's all there is to talk about right now. After we get into you know we actually built an application we're going to see the use of it for instance i don't know the the most common way of using this is when somebody logs in and somebody just tries to go to the url without being logged in then you just want to redirect them to you know to somewhere else to the to the home page because you don't want people to just type in the url and be at some place they're not supposed to be so that's where you know redirects come in handy and uh take thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe